I have prior meeting minutes if anybody wants to read those. Meeting minutes from the last meeting. We'll start the meeting at 7 o'clock, same as pledge. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Peter Roll Call, Ben Hunt. Yeah. Dan Van Guren. Here. Jeff Corpenny. Here. We have one guest speaker tonight. Me. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, we're having the egg hunt this in April for the kids, and we will need help. We need, uh, need people to help, and we need to uh, see if we're asking for $150 to purchase the candy and eggs and stuff like that that we had last year. We do it somewhere for last year. Um, have you picked a date that you guys want to purchase? April 4th. April 4th. Pretty much okay. just kind of same thing as we've done last year. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's pretty positive thing for the community. and mm -hmm. bring a lot of kids out. So, uh, if you guys would want to take charge of that. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll definitely need help from you sure. guys as well as any of uh, in the community that can come and help. Sure. Trying to fill eggs before and then mm -hmm. during yes. the event. So, absolutely, definitely. Uh, If we go ahead and allocate the money to that, what do you want us to just, just towards Easter egg event? That's fine. All right. I'll make a motion that we go ahead and uh, allocate $150 towards the 2015 Easter egg hunt. I'll second it. Roll call, Ben. I think I'll under a uh, discussion. Uh, is this through the Friends of Bowling Green Township, 5163? No, Friends of Bowling Green Township. No, no. A, we, are not the the, we are the community. Okay. And last year, um, if I recall, we took donations and, and that money, that seed money did come back or didn't it? We couldn't tell you. We're not with Friends of Bowling yeah. Green. Friends of Bowling Green did it last year. I know there were donations last year, but that always was Jenny could with no. I don't know. <coughs> There's no money turned in? There in. was money from the Don Gaming from the senior citizens, but as far as I know, I don't know what was spent on. We didn't collect any donations. But I guess no, the senior like, citizens like had a way of sale pledged. or something? Right, senior citizens did. We that collected no money dollars. at all from anyone. No, like Kroger's had pledged like $20 towards the event. I know that. Um, and I know there were some residents that had pledged some. Yeah. The purchase right. and stuff. Yeah. So, yes, there were some donations that were given. But as far as money that was donated to back to the township, I, I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. But if we don't use it, you'll be getting it back. Right. So we all know what the total cost was last year. Through the uh, other friends of Bowling Greendale last year, wasn't it? They spent it, yeah. the 150 or I, I don't know. I know we have set aside the 150 yeah. but I don't remember what was spent. Yeah, they spent I think it was slightly less than that. Uh, well, the concern I have is I guess we've got two different friends groups now. No, you know, we're just a group from the community doing community <coughs> events. If we set a precedence like this, we, you know, that's the only thing. You do it for one group, someone else I, wants I to think, do it. And I'll speak for them. I think they've coordinated together. They, You guys agree that you would just Correct. take charge of the, the Correct. So we've talked to an individual from the Friends of Bowling Green, they are not going to do it. We have to have the uh, Easter egg hunt. We've had one since I've been here, and as long as I'm here, it'll go on, and I would say a lot of other residents feel the same. So we don't really, the cost is $150 at the maximum. It's not going to cost any more than that. Not from the no. township. I don't have any more. 
Matt. Roll call vote, Ben. Yes. Dan. Yeah. Jeff. Yes. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> do you have a tentative date when you want to go ahead? Like I want to fill the eggs Friday before, so that would be the third. Right. Easter's okay. <coughs> the late on Friday the third. Get time. Is it six? Six. Friday the third six? Six in the evening. Okay. You know you'd be here then, whatever. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, it'll be over in the other building because that's where we have all the recycled eggs from last year. We did collect last year all the eggs back. Because I collected a lot of eggs from my church because we don't do the egg hunt anymore. Yeah. So to help the event and make it better, I collected all their eggs and we're using them. Awesome. And we had the kids give them back. Sure. So we did the same thing this past year, which saved everybody money. Sure. We will have hot dogs again. Um, one thing, did you, talk, did you check with Don make sure there wasn't running out that day? He said it was open. Okay, just make sure it was open. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, do you guys want to put it in the paper? Do you want Jenny to put it in the paper? Uh, I was going to get with you on that, on how to put it in the paper, because it is for Bowling Green Township. And it's not a private event, it's a township event, isn't it? I mean, we've always done it, what would you call it? It's a thing, yeah. It's a community thing. Yeah. We got, well, yeah. Did you put it in my calendar? I think that's, they don't charge you. If you put it under the calendar. Calendar event, then I can take care of that. Yeah. Okay. I don't think, if, check and see. Yeah. Okay. But I, I think if you put it in the calendar section, they don't charge for that. Okay. Cool. Awesome. And I know the Buckeye Lake, the Buckeye Beacon, they'll put it in for no cost. Sure. What's so. the times for the egg hunt? Do you know? It was, it's going to be the same as last year, which sign in is 11. <clears throat> Correspondence. Um, uh, one thing I did, I guess, with another correspondence was um, the township had uh, coordinated with the National Trail Fire Department, applied for a grant for new radios. This was months ago. Um, they had to have a host township, so they used us. The township received the grant. For the fire department, which was twenty-four thousand and something dollars, um, they've already received the radios. Here's an invoice uh, that I received uh, from the chief of fire department. So I'm going to give that to Jenny. Uh, you already received the money. Right? The yes. invoice is for twenty-two thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars. The balance of the money that's going to be left will be uh, user fees and the yearly user fee cost with that. So um, that'll just be held until that user fees are due. That's all I have for Florence. I do. Um, I did receive an email back from Misty Baird saying that she wants to be on the zoning commission board. I also have that on the agenda for later. Um, received. I don't, did you guys all get the thing from the Licking County Planning Development about the uh, the? Licking County Planning and Development Department is beginning the process of developing a list of projects to consider for the uh, community development block grant. Did everybody get that? Look at this. What's the date? <coughs> Just last uh, February 5th. Um, there's a meeting on Thursday, March 5th from 2 to 4. The goal of the meeting is to, it's at the administration building in the basement. The goal of the meeting is to share information about the grant loan and funding and to develop a list of 10 potential projects that will be prioritized and considered for the funding year 2015-2016. We also have an, a tentative agenda in here. What kind of projects are they kind of geared toward those things? 
it's anticipated that Lincoln County will receive around 200,000 allocated funds to conduct, pro to conduct projects such as replacing curbs and sidewalks, installing storm sewers, upgrading water and sewer facilities, improving recreational facilities, repairing homes, or conducting economic development activities. Uh, I'll leave this here if you guys want to check it out further, but that meeting again is March 5th. March 5th, 2 to 4, it's a Thursday. There's some more information in there too. Um, I didn't put this on the press, put this on the agenda. Did you then get a call from a guy about right away from Mount Hope for AT&T? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you have that. If Could you get me a copy of that? I had a phone call on it, but I didn't see any paperwork. Yeah, maybe that's not the same thing. That, that's from who? It's from AT&T okay, no, from an application all. for right of ways uh, or installing uh, or burying fiber cable in conduit on the right of way of Mount Hope. No, I, I don't know about that. They have another work yet. No, I think they're going down Guthridge too. They're going to make it a little bit older. Is this a residence request that came through? Or? No, it's a company that is, is taking care of fiber optic lines. They want to come up Mount Hope for a little ways and poles, yeah. and then they want to bury it the rest of the way. That's what he said. He said he, yeah. that he uses the poles as much as possible. It's not going to be buried all the way, yeah. And then they go to the shallow area. Go down Guthridge to that tower. Okay. So we need approval? Yeah, they're asking for an approval for them to do that. I think everybody got the annual report from the health department only that here in case you didn't notice from the um, Lincoln County Board of Elections saying there will not be an election held at our facility on May 5th. Letter from Big O about the uh, switch from waste management or to waste management, which I think I have. I didn't put that on there either, but I have that printed out. The uh, <coughs> assignment thing that we need to sign. That's all of my communications. She's presented several drafts tonight. The way that map shows on here, it shows 
aerial on Laurel Hill Road. So then if you were coming north on Mount Hope toward 40, you're going to put it on the west side of the road. That's what this shit is. That's what he told me. It's be on yeah, the west side. Yeah. So. I told him it's got to be deep enough because we, we hit them lines going up there. On, they got to run through the culvert down on the war into that. Uh, yeah. The only, the, 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 the only thing I don't know about that is um, when Mr. Payne lived there in that farmhouse, uh -huh. he wanted to know the right way through there, so I called and asked about the right way. And through some of that, it's just ditch line to ditch line. So if they want to go 14 feet from the center line of the road, that's not the right way. I don't know. Let's say check with the engineer's office. I told him to check with the engineer's office. Yeah. I just don't want to be responsible. No. Yeah. It's not. They go 30 to 36 inches when I was making it. Yeah. I think I want to put a pass there now. It's supposed to be off the ground. Yeah. Well, that's a telephone company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I told them. I said, we, we hit a road grader and ditch in the middle. Said they'd like to start post construction date. February 23rd. And they complete within 90 days. I told them how much it would be at this meeting, so. It says AT&T will hide a place 3,000 plus feet of buried fiber cable with conduit 14 feet from the center line of the road with two hand bowl measurements five to six feet from the edge of the road, approximately 800 feet from the beginning and the end of the trench, and four under any paved driveways, <clears throat> and place fiber off and give two-inch PVC on the so they fly travel. I don't have a problem with doing it. If they go that deep, it just, I don't know, no, that's the right way. She's probably going to talk about it. Yeah, I told him. He was in that county. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'll make a motion that we go ahead and approve the, to allow AT, AT&T to, uh, to do the work that they want to do on that book. I'll second it. The only thing is, I'd like to. Jack said we could go out and visit the people yeah. doing it to make sure that we're right.
looks like the same thing, certified mail. Patty Bowen. It looks like the same exact thing we got before, with the exception of a different color paper on the handwritten note, and the dates January 21st. Within this letter, she has concerns about the hearing that removed her, and she also requested in there some, some information. So I moved, I see you've got meeting minutes here. I moved it, I told him to send a copy of the minutes, because it looks like that's what she's asking for, primarily. She wants documentation. We've read this, right? I move that we send Patty Rowland what she's requesting, which amounts to I haven't had a chance to read the meeting minutes, but I'll, I'll move that we send her a copy of the meeting minutes from her. What does she have to request in there? I'll read what it says. No, you don't have to read the whole thing. Ask. Well, I believe she was requesting a letter. To the Board of Trustees, Bowling Green Township, I'm <coughs> requesting a new hearing about my removal from the Board of Zoning Appeals for the following reasons. Number one, she says she was not legally notified of the meeting for ORC 51913 and ORC 51904. It says I received a phone call from a friend telling me, quote, the zoning inspector wanted me kicked out of office, unquote. I did not receive a letter telling me that what charges the zoning inspector filed, nor have I seen a copy of the charges. Close is a copy of the letter that this officer sent to all members of BZA that wasn't included with the one she sent here, but it was included with the one that we got and sent from Davis. You will notice there are no charges listed, and the letter does not even state that the meeting is about removal from office. There is nothing about a hearing as required by law. ORC 51904 clearly states, quote, dot, 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 and after a copy of the charges has been served upon the members, so charged at least 10 days prior to the hearing, you know, and dot, 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 unquote. Number two, as per ORC 51916, I request that the fiscal officer act as a recording secretary for the public hearing October 30, 2014. Since the tape recorder was left at the meeting room for the BZA to use and be immediately returned to the fiscal officer, was clear indication she intended to act as secretary for the BZA. And requesting a new hearing with a letter stating what charges were brought against me so I can defend my position. And other two pages she has uh, ORC 50913, 51904, and pieces of our zoning 5.5 and 5 .5. I don't think the board needs to create a letter stating anything. That's why I moved that we send her a copy of the meeting minutes. And I'll, I'll stand that to, to actually say, hand a copy of the audio of the meeting, if that's, if that's something you can do. But we probably need to send her a copy of the hearing as well. Even though I know she was here, but the, She's asking for that information, but she certainly should have it. She was going to find the mail, wasn't she? Yeah, it's just because it's so And she says she didn't get the letter. So. I just think it shows due diligence for the center with information that's available. I, I know she was here. Well, there's a copy of, you know, there is a letter, isn't there, from the zoning inspector? The letter that was sent, it's in, she's not referencing the letter she sent us. There's a copy here of the letter Jenny sent out. This is on the, no, it's actually it's on this, this one. It's the same thing that this one had with that. I still don't think that's what she's asking. Well, if you don't think so, I guess we don't have to take any action. Get this. 
my motion is just chosen. Clarify something. Zoning inspector did not give you no letter. I think you should send her everything. And there, were, there was a letter from the source, right? Wasn't there? Send her a meeting minute. Whatever, whatever exists, I think you should want to send it to her. And as far as creating something new, I don't see a reason. <laughs> should have all the other paperwork. Did you give her copies of everything from the hearing? Does she have copies of that already too? The report and the... safety. Uh, Jenny had forwarded me. Or actually, I think he was over the phone first. Uh, John Parker, who sent had not contact me. Uh, Travis Thompson wanted a copy of where we were on questions of loss prevention. So I looked back, printed it out. Send, I sent you that carbon copy on that too. But we may be still eligible, possibly for Discounts just by responding to that, so I made sure it was responded to. And under safety, since it's lost permission. Zoning? Um, February, there was no permits granted. Last month, January, a motion from the trustees is needed to go forward with the West investigation. I was told to contact the prosecuting attorney and have her write up a motion, and she informed me she would send emails out to you and let you, the trustees, know she does not prepare motions. That is the trustees' job. So we still need a motion for the West investigation, and this is under the court case CB00335, and the West was, and that date was 1998. And the prosecuting attorney would like to move forward with this. They were in violation of that court order. which they've gotten certified letters on. It's been in a two-year process. Prosecuting attorneys found that this would be a quicker route to go to get them on the violation of a past hearing.
What do you guys think? You referenced he was going to contact us specifically about this, about uh, not doing the <coughs> resolution. I didn't get it. The prosecuting attorney does not make motions for the township trustees. But I didn't hear from her on that. Did you guys? I did. And your email was on there. Specifically about? It was the specifically about the prosecutor's office does not make create. Motions. Oh, I got that. I got that one. Yeah. But uh, it didn't. It wasn't in regards to this 1998 situation. I think it was just a kind of an open-ended that they don't. Right. But they do sometimes. It's not completely true that they don't. She said they, she does not times. do it. They've done it many times in the past. But you also said the prosecuting attorney wants to move forward. Just want is it? She would. She like, wants to. Move we've forward. asked repeatedly to move forward. This is what she pulled up to make it easier for the township, quicker for the township, less time on the township. And this is your recommendation to it as well, right? Yes. We already we already brought forth and a year ago to move forward with their violation. And that's where she pulled all this out and said we need a motion to use this. It's the same violation, but it was in 1998. And I gave you copies of that last month. There's also a clause on your report that you have. So if you have the... You see, I don't think he's doing all the sales and all the parts of business. No, that she's not going after all that. It's the junk and maintaining a junk yard. That's what we got him on violation for before on the 9.5, the um, 3.6 and 9.5 operating and maintaining a junk yard, meaning scrap materials, all kinds of other instances that could be going on. But you guys had copies of that I gave you before also. And that was on the original that you guys voted to send to him, and I sent a certified letter. He did aerial photos. This has been an ongoing thing for over two years. The neighbor is still complaining. We'd like to know what's going on. He showed me intent that he's cleaned up some of it. I mean, that's, that's but the neighbors that's are still said. complaining about the front area. So he's, he hasn't moved anything. He's been adding to that. If it was back there in the back where just he looked at it, I don't think anybody would complain. <coughs> but he's putting it out for the neighbors, for the columns next door. Have you talked to the columns? It's been months, but yes, I spoke with it. And they still would like to know what's going on. All that stuff out, tractors and stuff, you can't do nothing about it. Actually, you can. And if you guys would read the stuff I give you, you'd see it. But if it's farm equipment that is not being used, and it has sat there for years, which I have proved to you, it has not moved. It is junk. You've seen photos after photos after photos. Year after year, it has not moved. Summer, winter, spring, fall. It's not farm equipment if it's not being used. What, what if I had? Maybe you should put it off and talk to your prosecuting attorney again. No, I just don't, I don't know what to do. What if I had two hay rigs? One I was working, one I might use for parts. I can answer you that. What this investigation we've been doing on them, how many years? 
How many years? For two years they've had the letter. The investigation has been going on before that. I've been giving you guys everything. Your residents would like something done. It's, and again, it's not up to me, it's up to you guys. Sure. But this is a waste of my time and the residents complain. And the, I mean, you should actually vote out zoning if you guys aren't gonna do anything about the violations that occur. And we really should. You guys have had this in front of you repeated times. I just have a hard time punishing somebody. They've been punished before yeah. and they're listen, violating listen. it. For making an honest living. That's, That's not an honest living. That's right, a problem. Is, is it an honest living? Keep putting junk down at the end of the driveway and leaving it there? Is that an honest living? He is, they, talk to the neighbors, talk to the investigator. Don't just talk to me. I've given you everything sure. you need. I agree, I'm not disputing that But if it's, it's a, I, I have a hard time, you know, it's cut and dry, it's black and white. Is he wrong or not? We've proven it repeatedly. What do you think, Jeff? Your opinion on it? I move that we take no further actions of this 1998 issue. So again, if we don't do this, then we move forward with the other motion that has been passed. One or the other. What do you mean by that? We've already made a motion for her to go forward on his violations. Sure. Okay. She's got all that. She, the, the, the roundabout way, but she wanted to go through with this. She was going to try to make it easier on everyone by getting him on a violation he's already been caught on. It's already been in court. It even states on there, highlighted on your paperwork. I highlighted it for you. I don't know. I haven't seen anything directly from the prosecutor, and I don't take your word for that because when I hear things. Then you like, should have talked to her when I gave you this last month. I've, Isn't that part of your job also? I do due diligence when it comes to all these. So then we matters. should probably table this until you guys talk to the prosecutor. I moved for a motion, and you know I don't know if there's going to be a second or not. If not, then I don't know where we go from that. Just uh, we move forward on the violation that's already been presented through the trustees, and it still will go to court. It'll just take longer. Wait a Let's table it to the next meeting, and because I like to talk to the prosecutor. <coughs> I'll second that motion. You, you know, talk to them. And, Is that a motion? Yeah, I make a motion. Take a look. Are we ready for roll call? Ben? Yeah. Dan? Yeah. Jeff? Yes. On their zoning, do you have anything else on their zoning? You, at the junk car meeting, said you were bringing something forward. Are you doing that at a different time? Yeah, we've discussed about the two junk vehicles mm -hmm. at the Holman residence. Uh, I tried to make contact. I could make contact. You said you talked to her. Were you there in person or what? I stopped her house. Sure. I stopped her. Okay. So were you standing next to these vehicles? I was. Are they junk motor vehicles or not? Are they junk? Well, that's what this is about. Does it meet the three criteria of three uh, jump motor vehicles? Are the tags outdated? Yes, the tags are outdated on the vehicle. F from the truck. I couldn't see the back of the car. That, that's not one of the criteria. Uh, it is one of the criteria. It, it has to be three years older or older, which it is probably is, easy yes. to determine. Number two, apparently inoperable. It is. Number three was, uh, I believe it has something to do with extensive damage, doesn't it? And tires, flattened tires. Okay. Nothing in there. Trash house. all around it. Nothing yes. in there talks about tags. Out of the yes, three that makes it inoperable. That does make it inoperable. So that answers that number two. Yes, it's inoperable. If she put the tags on, it would be operational. The junk car would disappear, but she's not doing anything. So it's on you guys. Again, why am I doing this job if we're not going to follow through with it? Because you're paying for it, that's why. But it makes the township look stupid. Yeah. 
Because we're not we're not following through on nothing. I don't agree with that. How many of these, how many of these have we done that we followed through with? Right, but now you're at a deadline. You this this is the tomorrow furthest tomorrow. we've had to go with one of these. Right. So that's why I disagree with you to say we don't follow through with it. That's BS. The, how many months have we been sitting here on the same one? Two. Okay. Three? Okay, well, let's say three, because we've given other people 90 days to remove. How many months is that? We did, three. but they came in and they talked to us. Okay, three. So that's This individual won't rate. even talk to you. Refuses to take the I'm not disputing that. I'm everything. not disputing that. I tried to go to the residence. I'm not See? disputing that at all. You know? I, I don't know what to do. I suggested for you to talk to the prosecuting attorney and see what she said. She, she's going to say the same thing. That's your saying. Or, or do they appear to be junk motor vehicles? And you, you have the copies of the documents I gave you. What, what one person might think is a junk motor vehicle, the other person might not. That's where you should talk to her <coughs> and see what her opinion is. The part about mm -hmm. tags is a new point. It no, it's not. It makes you, it inoperable. It's no, not it's a new point. It, that, it makes it inoperable. I've never taken tags, put them on a vehicle that didn't work, and it worked. If uh, it's and tagged, also, it takes it, it out of the three categories. If it's tagged, it takes it out It doesn't have to have tags to own the vehicle. You can take that vehicle and drive it all over your property all day long without tags. So tags is not one of the three criteria. I'm you have it with, in writing what the I'm three criteria are. I'm going with are. the paperwork that was given to me, that I've given to you repeatedly, and you've never said anything until now. We've had junk car meetings. You have not said anything at those junk car These meetings. These discussions about tags came up at the last junk car and meeting. And you didn't say anything. I, I certainly did. You did not. That's where you were saying you were making those claims about it. Again, I would talk to the attorney. Or so, so the next step, so the next step is to have these vehicles removed. The next step is you've got to send her a letter. Of course, you've got to get with prosecuting attorney sure. for the official legal letter to send her. So you still need to get with her. I'll make a motion we. we no further action on the pickup truck, on the white truck. Okay. For the car, I'd, I'd like to move forward with that. Okay. Does it appear to be an off road junk motor vehicle? Yes. To me. That's my opinion. Okay. Now, the other thing that you, that you stated is that one of them was partially covered. Is it partially covered? Is it covered completely? Is it, you know, what, what's you, the update on that? You didn't want to ask me that it's a junk car meeting? I, I did. That's where I got the information. And it's still partially covered. If you drive over there and look, you can see. You're allowed to do that as a trustee. So your motion is what, Ben? To take no further action on the pickup truck, the white pickup truck. Can we do that as a separate motion? Sure. As opposed to putting them both together? I'll second that motion. Roll call, Ben? Yeah. Dan? Yeah. Jeff? Yes. Do you want to make a motion to move forward with the car? No. I'll make, the motion. Been there yeah, I'll make a motion that we go ahead and proceed forward with the green, teal, blue color car. No, it's like Okay, under discussion on that, uh, we already said this, but I'm going to say it again. Since you were standing right there, do you feel like it meets the, th the three criteria of a junk motor vehicle under the ordinance that you're using here in the ORC? Is it more than three years old? Yes. Does it appear inoperable? Yes. What's the other one? Is Apparently not. Do you have that with you, the, the actual ORC, <coughs> so we could get the exact verbiage? Because yeah, I, know, I, do, I know it doesn't say... I don't understand this is not a junk car meeting. Right. This is why well, we do we, special we, meeting. Well, we, it, the, special, it, the junk car meeting, which is a regular meeting now, not a special meeting, we had a motion to do it here. And you had also mentioned that through the winter you weren't going to have those, you didn't want to have those meetings anymore. So that's why it's... We didn't say agenda. we didn't want to have those meetings anymore. It should have been on the agenda. Yeah. Through, the south, through the winter you didn't want to do it. I didn't say we don't want to do them anymore. Okay, well... I'm not here to debate with you. I'm, I'm not either, because I never made that statement. statement. The reason we're discussing it today is because we had a motion at that meeting, and there were going to be jump car meetings for several months. That's why it's here, and that's why That's not what you said, though. That's not what you said. Okay, well. Well? You can pick at bones all you want. The fact why, is... Why, you're a bone picker? Come on. Been, 
Come on, Jeff. Double well, standards? Come on. We're trying on. to discuss it Seriously. now. Seriously. What are you doing? What kind of discussion? Mm -hmm. You're trying to put words in my mouth. You guys are talking about Patty Bowles. It was supposed to be on the exam. Blowing out the roof, people running over. Three years. Model. Okay, thank yes. you. Yes. Three years older. It's a three model years old or older. Exact. Yes. Apparently inoperable. Yes. Extent, extensive damage, including but not limited to any of the following. Missing tires, wheels, engine, transmission. That, that, I don't know that. I went to the front door. You won't know that. Right. And, and the only know. way you know that is when it goes and they say, when the prosecuting attorney sends a letter and says for them to prove this is where your next step comes. We cannot look under their hood. That's why you have an investigator. Look at it, take photos, give it to you. Well, I made a motion that we go ahead and move forward with that. May I second the motion? Are we ready for roll call? Yep. Ben? Yes. Dan? Yeah. Jeff? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you have anything else on the zoning? Is that it? Thank God that's it. That's it. I have something. Uh, uh, there's yeah. something. <laughs> I talked to Robert Saylor today. I tried to get a hold of him several times last week, but I finally talked to him today, and he still would like to be the chair of the zoning commission. Uh, and I need to talk to the rest of the zoning board, but he said Monday night or Tuesday night would work for him, so that's what I'm shooting for. And once we decide, I will let you know. I have to contact the rest you of the You need to set for a meeting up. Yes. Well, you had reported that... Um, yes, Misty Baird is interested in the Zoning Commission, and that was the only person that I heard from. Do We have two alternate Zoning Commission positions open, and we have, on the Appeals Board, we have one regular and one alternate. She want to be on commission. She want to be on commission. I move that Misty Baird be put on a zoning commission as an an alternate, correct? Yes. Okay. She's going to be looking for a fiscal officer as well. She's going to be Is there a second to the motion? She wants to be on the zoning. Okay. No second to that motion. I uh, <coughs> wanted to report that I did talk with uh, Mike Zinsmeister, and he said he was never, he didn't know he was off, off of the board, and he's still interested in serving, and he said he would be happy to serve on either board as a uh, regular member or as the all the interviews expired. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, that is good experience. He did an excellent job. He was meticulous secretary. Uh, so I, you know, I he wanted to be on either or both. What do you say? He didn't know he was off either. I mean, he has he has his experiences on the zoning fields board. What board did he want to sit on? He said he volunteered for for any for either. Mm -hmm. I'll make motion to appoint Mike Sinsmeister to the alternate permiss, uh, position for the zoning. The zoning board, and then for you have a regular position for the appeals. You want to put them on the first? Sure. If he wants to. I don't. Wait a minute. Are they both alternate positions, or is it one? Of them? One on the regular position. There's one each open on zoning appeals, and there's two alternate on zoning commission. I don't think you want to point the same person to two things. Well, and the one. reason why is if they're an alternate, because alternates are voting alternates if, if they don't have five regular members. So I just don't think that's... What, what board did he want to sit on? What's his preference? Well, he, like I say, he didn't even know he was taken off the board, he, so appeals would make the most sense. You have, you, have, you have an alternate position there, you have a regular position there, and you have two on the zoning commission. So, you know, you make the call. Just, you don't think he's sitting on the board? I think it complicates things. Okay, well then I'll retract that motion. Um, 
Well, I've made a motion that we have one Mike Sins, Mike Sherp, to a permanent position on Zoning Field floor. No, second. Okay, <coughs> for discussion, and this still only give us three open positions between the two boards, the count members, right? Yeah, that's right. So that's filling our appeals board, except for one alternate, right? Yes. Okay. Roll call, then. Yeah. Dan. Yeah. Jeff. Yes. Now, uh, should, are you going to contact? Is Dave here? Skinner. Do you have his con do you have yeah. Vince Meister's contact in um, So are you gonna let him know? Yeah. yeah. So does Dave does he not communicate with you yet about having a meeting? Or? No, I think he was waiting to see if we got any more people on the board. Oh. Mm -hmm. But I'll contact Dave and let him know that okay. But you yeah. but you can get him in contact with Mike too. Yeah. So where where are we gonna how are we gonna handle the other well, three openings? They're just alternate positions. Can't okay. force people to do it. <laughs> well, you didn't want it. We had it. Would anybody we here had in the paper and somebody responded and you don't want to have that person for whatever reason? Would anybody here like to be on the zoning board or the zoning appeal board as an alternate? Anybody? Never <laughs> We tried. She would like you to explain what it is. <laughs> I'll explain the zoning appeals to you. Uh, <laughs> you can't explain zoning appeals. You can. <laughs> <laughs> um, zoning appeals if somebody wants to appeal zoning. I mean, if. Like, Do something outside the resolution. Right. Like, we have a five acre minimum to build out in the agriculture, not oh. in town. You know, so if somebody had four acres they want to build, they would file an appeal. So. That would come to you. There's a list of criteria that you would look at, you know, rules that you have to go by to uh, do that. So, I mean, it's. But just for clarification, the boards are full. We just don't have three of them. Four of them. And they're all in the It's only a few. Look here, what you're saying is if there's anything that needs to change, updated. And it's not, it's only if the main ones aren't there, then we would have to. On your list there, who do you have listed as all these appeals? We have an interest in alternate for zoning appeals. I don't know. I just want to make sure that there are any alternates yeah. that are okay. overlooked. The only alternate okay. we have left on the list is Dustin. <laughs> okay, he's the one of the four that we do have. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have an interest for uh, an alternate for the zoning appeals board. What's your name? Judy Cottrell. Judy what? Cottrell. C O T T R I L L. <laughs> Whatever he <laughs> is. <laughs> is that a motion you made? Uh, no, we just have some interest, but I'll. Uh, We'll make a motion that we appoint Judy Cottrell to the Zoning Appeals uh, Commission as an alternate. Not a second. Just on, under uh, discussion, just want to make sure that you currently live in the township? I do. Because okay. that is a requirement under the laws. Ben? Yes. Jeff? Jeff? Yes. Dan? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're uh, Just to clarify, that leaves us with one in each, right? Yes. To the land. Anybody else? Anybody want to take over zoning commission clerk? Well, that's something that. Oh, that's your job. Okay. I was thinking. Because <laughs> usually, usually, well, that's her. She's been doing it. Right. Um, when these boards meet, um, they currently have a president. They don't have a vice president on Bob's board. That was Gary Stepp, and you guys removed him. Bob what board? Zoning board. The, the commission? Yeah. We do have a chair. No, I said vice vice chair. <coughs> <board. coughs> but you, you removed that person. What I'm getting at is when the boards meet. They're that. We just never. Yeah. 
it would be nice to. We didn't remove them. The term was up, so. Yeah. yeah. I already yeah. told you I'm not going <laughs> to. It got removed himself. Well, that's not how we've done it in the past. Generally, if somebody's time is up, we've asked them if they want to continue. Okay. Right now. All right, so we're going to look forward. Question. You have to be removed, but technically before. Has he volunteered to be back on? You know, um, months ago, we brought up about changes for the zoning. Yeah. Are we ever going to have the board get together to do those changes? I just, I didn't hear you. I talked to Robert today. Uh -huh. Monday or Tuesday, we'll be having a meeting. I need to talk to the rest of the zoning commission members. This it's coming Monday or Tuesday? Yes. Not, um, yeah, this coming. Is it 10 days? It doesn't have to be 10 okay. days. It's just a meeting. Because then you have to put it in the paper? Yeah, but that only is no, 24 hours. Door. Of course you want to have the paper. So you're looking we haven't done that yet. Next okay. Monday or Tuesday. So Monday or Tuesday. Yes. Well, you mean you didn't do it on Tuesday? We haven't done that yet. We ought to be doing it until we want it. Jenny, could you send me an email or give me a call on which day it is, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Preferably not. What is the date of Monday and Tuesday? So that's in Bob Sanders. What is the date? Second, second, third. Okay. See, the third can't do if no. Why? Because I have something I have to do, and I should be at the meetings. That's not a requirement. I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> I did. I should be at the meetings to know what's going on too. Okay. Because it does deal with them. Try to make it all work. Right. Yeah. Would be would be nice. That's in Bob's hands right now, then. Um, Again, would be nice because I told him yeah. to call yeah. the other yeah. board members yeah. to see which day worked for them. There's going to be no person. All right. We'll move on to unfinished business. We'll take up all the list here. Then a couple other things. Um, advertising for special meetings. We have talked about that. Uh, not having to run an ad every time um, that we have a special meeting. I said that I would talk to the prosecutor. She gave me the same answer. Had. Uh, was given about um, her office not drawing up motion. She said that would be a <coughs> uh, So I know we discussed this about some other ways to, to advertise. Uh, what do you guys mean? Any other idea besides putting on the website and putting on the door? I think putting it on the door and website would be fine. Sign. Yeah. Sign. I mean, I don't know. I'll list all of them. I think two of them would be sufficient. <coughs> put on the signs on her. I'd like to make a motion that any special meetings that we hold, not including the regular business meeting and the general car meeting, for the next 24 months, for the next two years, will be advertised on the township website and or post on the door. Does anybody have a problem with that? If you put it in the free paper out there, and that, won't, that won't cost you nothing. They can, with the door. The $75, $80. It would just save us every time we run that. It's going to save 50 bucks or whatever. 50 or 60. Yeah, because probably just email the beacon and they put it in order. Nice. Yeah. I mean, if that's something that we wanted to do, definitely. I think they charge for those kind of things. I don't know. Easter stuff's a free fee, but I don't, I don't think oh, the legal ads are free. Oh, okay. Is there a second? Could you have to advertise on mm -hmm. the website and or on the door? Mm -hmm. I'd also like to put it there within.
Dan seconded the motion. Is that motion going to include that we will not be advertising in the advocate? It doesn't mean we can. It just this is going to allow so we don't have to. Roll call, Ben. Yes. Dan. Yeah. Jeff. Uh, well, under discussion, there's several things that pop up on that. Just because we have a motion like this, you know, and I, I'm all for advertising you know, everywhere you can, but legally we still have certain requirements that we have to do. And I'm not satisfied that that motion covers that. It is. I've talked to prosecutors several times about this. Don't take my word for it. Huh? I won't. <laughs> uh, but everything that, that I stated there is sufficiently legal. What's your vote on the motion? Jeff? As it reads, my vote's no. Uh, zoning board vacancies. I that. already covered that. One other thing under unfinished business I had. Um, was uh, I'm not paying all the credit, but we worked to apply for a grant. It was to the Energy Cooperative, the Operation Roundup grant. Uh, we applied for heating and cooling units in both this area here, the meeting room, and also the community building. Uh, Operation Roundup through the Energy Cooperative awarded the township. A total of three thousand dollars towards the purchase of uh, one, both, however we want to do it. Spend three thousand um, dollars. There were some estimates here that were drawn up. We had to send in two estimates. Uh, there are two different companies, obviously, broke down into different options for units in both buildings. Uh, The cheapest option that we had here was the Grand States is three thousand dollars was awarded us for replacement of furnace only, the heating unit only, um, contingent upon us raising the additional funds needed. The cheapest estimate we had was for this room here for heating. Uh, it's actually a the units combined is heating and cooling. You can't separate it. Um, and it was $3,700. I spoke with the Energy Cooperative, made sure that we could pick one or the other, uh, and then if that would be sufficient for us just to pick this room, and since we can't split that unit up to use that, they said yes. We would have to come up with the other $700 um, towards the cost of that. Uh, we don't have to decide tonight we have to raise the additional funds by June 30th, 2015. Um, instead of taking it out of the general fund, I'd like to do something where we could raise the money. You know, instead of just keep taking and taking and taking out of that, let's try to do something where we can raise the money. We don't have to. If we can raise part of it, that'd be great. Um, if we want to move forward with it, you know, we didn't get the whole amount, so we have to come up with something. Um, you know. Worst case scenario, do we have the seven hundred dollars, Jenny, to cover the rest of it? We yeah. would have that. Um, how do people feel about that? Do we want to move forward with that and try to raise the rest of the money, or you know, worst case scenario, we take it out of the general fund? That's worst case scenario. It's going to be here for here. It'd be in here, yes. Well, you need one here, one you need there. We got this right, and it was it was cheaper that. in here, so we'd have to raise less funds right now. Right. 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 So this deal there is work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'd ask, can I get, yeah, this is yours. Because uh, I asked for uh, audio and uh, also minutes. Did you have minutes from that meeting? The you have a special meeting. Already. Does anybody have any questions? Have, I left the audio. The okay, it's on that disc that you had here tonight. Uh, Anybody else? Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. So I'll move the table back. You said you. June 30th, we have to let them know by um, if we can come up with the rest of the money. Um, so, I mean, I, I think we should table it too, you know, and see if we can't come in. We don't have to decide tonight. Yeah. You know, we have time. So, um, that's that's everything that was in the grant. So, 
seconding his motion to table. Yes. Got to get a motion. Oh, the quotes are here too. Yes. On our doings, our committed or community buildings, or community doings. Okay. We're going to put a 50-50 out, and we'll put the money of that. Okay. That. Awesome. Good. And anything that we can raise, I mean, is right. you know, we'll take off that $700 we have to right. uh, you know, I know we have a motion on, on the floor here. Does anybody have any other ideas how we can raise? I mean, is there something out there if you have something? Uh, good. You can rent table space when we had the big giant yard sales? We talked about that. The building's already being, I know, is already being used. Uh, it's already being leased out. Uh, you can rent spaces out front here, like, uh, where they have you know, food and stuff like that Is that public property? Is that a fine line? It's always been in the past, you know, especially out front here. It's just kind of first time we're who wanted to use it, you know. Um, I, I don't know. Route 40 brings your most of your people sure. into this That's area. True. Absolutely. So it would be smart to try to capitalize on that. Yes, exactly. Uh, one thing I thought of, and maybe it's a, a dumb idea, but I'm going to throw it out there. Um, if the township want to put a couple tables out here and people want to donate a few items, sellable items, you know, mm -hmm. I'm sure I could find something. I'm sure everybody could find something. I, I was thinking you the know, same thing. Can you put it out there? If 15 people donate something, right. you're going to raise money. Yeah. Yeah. The whole back area back there is right off the basketball thing they don't use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was an idea. I mean, I'm not saying we have to do that. I'm just saying that that was an idea. So uh, Jeff moved to table this, and Ben seconded it. Let's do roll call, Ben. Yes. Dan. Yeah. Jeff. Yes. Yeah. You don't need this time. No, that's yours. He doesn't mean you can't keep talking about it. Right. I just if anybody comes up with any ideas, definitely. I mean, feel free to throw them out there. If okay. people have some ideas, we'll definitely entertain them. So. Like every talk. So. That's all I had. Yeah. Yeah. We're good now. We're good now. Um, Another thing we had in an unfinished business was, and, and I'm sure everybody here is aware of it, but if not, um, waste management. Waste management bought out Big O. Um, so since we had a contract with Big O, now we're going to have a contract with waste management if we so choose to do. Um, we don't have to. Isn't our contract good for three years though? Yes. Right. Right. Yes, yeah, so they, Big O, which is now Waste Management, sent Jenny a letter that stated, correct me if I'm wrong, that they're going to honor the same contract. So it's not going to go up or anything like that. The same terms, all that kind of stuff. So um, it, it won't change. So there's just a to do Yes? Maybe. So we actually does anybody have any questions with that switch over? I, I don't know much about it, but I mean, if I can answer anything well. From big O to waste management. They're going to pick up the trash. They're all up the same price. Same price, yeah. I have to talk to. The gentleman that was working for Big O is now working for Waste Management. I spoke with him today. Um, and he said it's still going to be on some Wednesday, same day. So. Uh, one brother is starting a new company. That starts the 1st of March. As long as it's not saying why we're all right. Uh, Atkins? I yeah, heard that. Yeah. I noticed that in Granville's paper, uh, Waste Management said they would send letters out to everybody. 
to let them know what was going on. I presume they're going to do the same here in Bowling Green. I don't know that that, that didn't say that. You know, I don't think. I don't, think I, I don't know. I, I could find out. I'm just curious because I saw sure. you know that they were going to a Granville Center, the city of Granville staying with the uh, uh, waste management. Yeah. The township, I understand, dropped the contract. When I talked to the prosecutor, she said there was numerous contracts that were being converted over. She said there was only one that wasn't going to go with it, but they were also almost ready to rebid the contract. Yeah. So, um, what what day? Are they still picking up same time or same day? Early. Well, one time it came at like seven thirty. Yeah. yeah. Then. For this week, they came about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's always on Monday. Monday's up there, yeah. All right, well, I'll make a motion that we go ahead and uh, adopt the consent to assignment. That this was drawn up by the prosecutor, correct? It was actually no. drawn up by the trash company. She made an amendment. But she made one adjustment. And, but the rest I'm going to request to read that to so everybody can yes, hear it because it does affect everybody the entire or they're calling this an assignment from waste management. I, I think everybody should hear it. You just want the correction read? The whole thing? The whole thing. No, the public hasn't heard anything. The correction is this part that's what the five words at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Do people want to hear this? Or we could set it out here and let. Let you see it after it, it's, it? it, it's the the contract <laughs> that they're calling it a consent to assignment. It's actually a resolution because it starts with where at. It says it's that we're going to let management. waste management pick up the trash now since they were bought out. Oh, okay. Since Big O was bought out. It's a confirmation letter. It's actually a resolution. Whereas so, the it, township, do you guys want to hear? It? No, really. no. 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 Whereas the township of uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move forward with that. We just go ahead and. You don't want them to hear the details of this. If they, I asked everybody sitting here. I'd like it. I'd like it at least in the record that uh, it's available. That's fine. You're so you're going to sit here first and look at it. Absolutely. Are you going to put this on the web? Is it going to go on the web or how, how are people going to see it if it's in here on the table? I have read it, so, but I know the public hasn't. Is there a second to the motion? No, I'll second it. Then. Yes. This just to clarify. This is with her redaction or her marked out part on there, as, as it's presented in that draft or whatever. Yes. Dan. Yeah. Jeff. No. I think isn't there a place to sign it or not? Does it have a place for the vote on there? No. document that needs to be signed needs to be notarized so um, I'll take the responsibility of signing it and getting it notarized for it. Says it needs notarized? Yeah. It says it's got to be witnessed and sealed. Yeah. I assume it's the name, right? What's the words? Read that. Give me your expert opinion, Jeff. Maybe I'm wrong. Wh 
witness there are other parties here to set their hand and seal this the day of 2015. Doesn't say I'm going I'll look into it. If you need to notarize, I'll take care of it. Done. I'll sign it. And send it. So we have a township seal. You could use a new seal. I don't see nothing at all. I think uh, inventory says the park. Uh, so we expect to have it. So if you need it, that's where you get it. Anything else on the welfare business? Um, yeah, then, um, you have anything? I don't think so. New business? Public comment? Appropriation resolution. I, I just need you guys, which I didn't bring in preparation, so we can wait and do that next meeting if you want to. Just annual appropriation resolution, accepting the, the appropriations, but I can actually, I didn't bring them with me. We can just wait. I'll just wait for the next month. Is that part of it there? This is the resolution. One thing I had in our new business from last year, anybody in here, there's a van, a vehicle that sat in front of the park up there by the gate, the end of the gate, for more than a month. Does anybody know who that vehicle belongs to? It has not moved in more than 30 days. In the public parking area? Yes. The one that's snowed in? Yes. It was uh, <laughs> it does. I don't I don't know. Can you just come back to Sheriff and ask him? I think that's what we'll do is contact the Patrol Sheriff and uh, it's an abandoned vehicle, I would assume. It's on township property. Well we have to pay to have that too. No. I don't think so. Well that's a check out. It could be a stolen vehicle or something up there. Yeah. Because it's on government property, I don't believe so. But ask, ask the sheriff. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Board, I don't have anything else on the new business. I do. Jeff carries all the books and stuff down from up there. The pose is out there. Open the door and look. You can carry them down and carry them back. Uh, I did that. Oh, uh -oh. You carry them. I put the, rec the boxes in there. No, they laying on the floor where you open the door. Oh, I didn't do that. I've carried the boxes in there. Those things have been in there for years. No, they haven't, Jeff. All right, we're going to move on to 2008. Public comment. Yeah. Okay, public comment. It's already started. I just want to thank Dan and Ben and Township workers for a good job. They did Tom Snow, Sub Zero Weather, and early morning, late, they were out there. We really appreciate it. We appreciate it. Seems like very got, good job. <laughs> seems like we've very had an extra long winter this year. We appreciate it. Anybody else? You don't want to hear one. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Come on. You know we pay bills. It ain't good for you. One trustee never even got his driveway No, he not. What, what was the situation on this? That was one of the I said he didn't I noticed it didn't look like it was checked for before again. I still have that. I don't know. I have it. But you're saying it's going down for a minute. What's the status on that? Yeah, I still need it. I got some receipts from Jenny. I still need it. So you're not circulating that check again? No. I'm not, you said I'll, unless somebody tells me to. I still have it with me. Because you find out when it's due. I spoke to Nutra and I told them if we were, I asked them if it was okay if we were a couple months later. They said absolutely. They were upset about the situation. But, but that's where this is on the airplane. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I got him to talk about him. He said he didn't. 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 He said he didn
So I don't know what time I'm at. Yeah, there's another one. This is up to this point on the phone. I think Okay, this is up to this point on the phone. It's just going to sign on that one then. Four five eight seven Barb Salim four hundred forty five dollars sixteen cents. Four five eight eight Lehman Nelson Van Buren six hundred twenty nine forty eight. Last one, well, I got that. Four, five, seven, nine, we're not the last one, Jen. Well, I'm going to commission journal. Hold her in the middle there.